Okay, whether you're trying to become a security professional, an ethical hacker, or a penetration tester, the same information or knowledge is required for all those jobs to be done well. Now, a lot of you already know the famous distribution of Linux, which was formerly called Backtrack. Backtrack has reached Backtrack 5, and now we have a new name and a new distribution for this box, which is called Kali Linux. Now, as we can see, it's very close to Backtrack. The same tools are still there, so if you're used to Backtrack and you like to keep that, that's fine, or if you have your Linux machine and install the tools you require uh, that you need for that machine, well, that's perfectly fine as well, whatever you need to work for you. Now, we do recommend beginners in the security field to use a machine like Kali or Backtrack because it has all the tools installed and is ready to be used. Now, you really don't need to mess with Linux and install all these tools to know which is best uh, for use or which one you'll be more comfortable using. Kali and Backtrack have all the tools installed and you can really start learning how to use them right away. So it's recommended that after you know your way on Linux that you set up your own machine and install only the tools that you're going to need. Now, whether you are a pen tester or a security professional working for a company, it doesn't matter, it's the same. Same set of rules. So when performing penetration testing, there are several steps to be performed and should be closely followed. You can't start by exploiting a system that you know nothing about. So depending on the pen test we are performing, whether it's white, gray, or black box, the information given to us is going to vary. Now imagine that we are performing a white box pen test. We already have most of the information, so maybe we can skip gathering information and actually get right to it and start scanning. But if we are performing a gray box or a black box pen test, we have to start by gathering the information. Can't scan what we don't have. So gathering the information about the target could be very easy or it could be very hard. Now we can start by browsing the internet for our target. We simply need a browser and we can start by going to Google and Googling our target. Now we can use Google operators, which we will actually talk about in a different chapter, uh, to find more information or specific information about our target. We can start by browsing our target. So we have gathered a bit of information, mainly what domains are used. We can then navigate to who is. Now I'm just quickly giving you examples of what to do. And in, in the first step of penetration testing, what the hacker or the penetration tester needs to do is go to who is. We can use the Whois online tools or we can download an application which performs Whois for us. Again, totally up to you. So, gather all the information related to the IP and registration of our target domain. And we can go from there to find out more information as we were saying using Google operators to find out if there are documents with usernames or, or passwords forgotten somewhere and we can get it from Google online. Now, at this point, we can also use some scanning probes, but uh, I'd like to keep that for scanning at this point, touching the system or touching the target. Uh, even if we are just performing a regular scan, we are now actually touching the target. We want to leave that at the scanning part. Reconnaissance, footprinting, uh, and gathering information, it all means really the same thing, that you want to gather as much information as possible about your target, again, without anybody noticing you were doing so. That's the whole point. So you can also search for job sites. You can check here whether uh, your target has published a job online or if they require someone who has knowledge of Cisco Firewall or Juniper or whatever. So, by now you know, seeing this job requirement, that your target has a specific or particular firewall system and so on. So the information online is very rich. All, all the information you need, you will probably find online. Now, if there is something left that you need to know, there are several ways to find it. And, uh, of course, we will cover all of this in the chapter, chapter related to reconnaissance, so stay tuned for that. Scanning is the next step. In a scan, we try to locate the systems that are live and responding on the network. Ethical hackers use scanning to identify target system's IP addresses. Scanning is also used to determine whether a system is on the network and is it available. We can use scanning tools to find out IP addresses, types and versions of operating systems, applications and services are running on a computer, assuming they are opened to the outside world or if the ports are opened to listen to. There are two types of scanning. One is port scanning and the other is 
scanning. Port scanning determines open ports and services. Network scanning identifies IP addresses on a given network or a subnet.